We all from Narrabri Public School and we love environmental stories. Woo! Welcome to Narrabri, a farming town located in the heart of the Namoi Valley at the base of the Nandiwar Ranges in northwest New South Wales. Narrabri has a strong agricultural industry and is home to several research facilities. The Cotton Research and Development Corporation is just one of these and they have been sponsoring a regional Stories program since it began in 2009. Um, my name is Ian Taylor. I'm the Executive Director of the Cotton Research and Development Corporation. Um, CRDC has had a long relationship with Stories, and we've actually funded it since its uh, inception. So for CRDC, uh, Stories provides the link to uh, agriculture, environment and uh, kids. Uh, and for us it's a really important story. It's the thing about um, how do we actually talk uh, about the environment, um, how do we link that into farming systems, but it's also about understanding that agriculture and farming systems themselves are so dependent upon the environment to actually deliver a really good outcome. Enviro Stories is a great program. It's a really good way for us to, to meet and to engage families, kids, community. Narrabri Public School came on board from the start Enviro Stories is entrenched as part of their annual Year 5-6 literacy program. We talked to Nicole Allison about why Narrabri loves Enviro Stories. My name is Nicole Allison. I teach Year 5 this year and um, I'm Assistant Principal as well. We just decided years ago as a school that we would consistently support and it takes, it does take a lot out of the curriculum as in terms of time and effort and both for teachers and kids. But because we can see how worthwhile and we see the value in what we do with it, mm. we've just decided that that's just, we just program it in and that's it. Term two, and virus stories. It just lends itself to so many facets of the English curriculum. So it gets everyone writing. It, find, it gets everybody looking, talking, researching, planning, drafting. It involves all aspects of the writing process and all children, no matter what their ability, can be involved in that process. So if you were a science-based teacher, I guess you could do the same thing and, and backward map. So if it's a, you're doing something on, um, I don't know, space, which I suppose everybody thinks of, <laughs> um, building in, incorporating all those other aspects around that theme of space, but you know, sticking to what the core part of that scientific concept, whatever it would be, and just branching out into those other things, just trying to, use a bit of a holistic approach and do little bits of everything based around that central theme, which is what we do for Enviro Stories. Enviro Stories involves kids learning about a topic. It could be farming, biodiversity, cultural heritage, science. We change it yearly. The students then write and illustrate a story aimed at other students. A lucky few get to have their books published into school readers. Caitlin will now read a story that was written by a Year 5 student in 2017. The message is clear and is still teaching other students long after it was published. I'm Caitlin and this is why do you need, why do plants need soil? Can you imagine Earth without soil? You probably won't be able to because there would be nothing at all. Soil is very important to the earth because plants need it to survive and humans need plants to survive too. Plants deliver oxygen to, oxygen to humans and without oxygen we would die. So without any plants there would be no life at all. Some of the ways soil is important to plants are it helps seeds to germinate it provides physical support for plants to grow on. It provides nutrients for plants to grow. It holds water for plants to drink from. It helps in recycling dead plants and animals. Plants can't survive without food, or, so soil provides food for them through their roots. Nutrients in the soil helps plants to grow strong. 
Some nutrients that plants need are oxygen, phosphor, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulfur. Plants do need soil to survive. Um, what did you learn from that book? I learned that there's a lot um, of stuff in soil and, and I learned a bit about what's in the soil. Look, I love the Amaro series. It's a great program that gets students thinking about agriculture, the environment, science, how we can put that all together, um, you know, and using their creativity to tell that story and to tell that to other students and, you know, get that message out there in an awesome, fun, creative way. Uh, look, there's so many benefits and to name them all, you know, we don't have that much time. Um, I love the fact that it's not always the academic kids who always win a story or get the best story. It's those students who, you know, come through and have this passion about what their the theme is and how they can, you know, interpret our theme and, and what stories they come up with and how they come up with them. and. Um, the benefits for industry is being able to get those messages out there and, and through through an educational way. So for all industries, it's it's a great way of getting some important messages out there and teaching the community, like getting those messages out into the community. So the kids go home, you know, they've published a story and then they can talk to their parents about it and, and their grandparents and it gets around. Oh look, it makes them remember why they're doing science. I love watching um, scientists who haven't had involvement with students before or, or doing their first workshop and, and they come away so exhilarated and, and re impassionated, if that's a word, um, very passionate about what their science is about, what they you know why why they're doing their science and their research because they've been able to express that in a, in a way to students and and they have so much fun and the kids get a lot out of it because then their passions are reunited and and they get to to enjoy it. Give it a go, give it a go. Come and read the stories, have a look, see for yourself. Go online, check out the website, and you'll be amazed at what information's out there. Where?